Absolutely. Jess, what a fascinating trip to Baltimore. But I want to ask you, before we go to this topic, I want to ask you about Bishop Strickland, who was there. Tell us about what you saw there with the good Bishop of uh, Bishop America. Yes. My heart broke, Terry. Um, I was in the hotel where we were starting the uh, Deposit of Faith Coalition press conference with yes. the secular media. And uh, Bishop Strickland, I saw him amongst hundreds of other bishops. They're getting off buses and cars and they're going into the, they stood at the Marriott hotel. Yeah. And so he was like, um, I was checking in and he was walking in with like hundreds of bishops. Yeah. It was a, it was just a crowd of people. I don't want to shout across to him. Sure. Um, he didn't see me. I didn't see him. He's talking to other, but what I was told when I was there, when they started their meetings, yes, I was told that the apostolic nuncio did not let him in. I bet he didn't. So, I, I as during the press conference, I, I looked outside the windows. I'm getting I'm getting every I'm getting ready to because I'm seeing that there's lay lay Catholics that are starting to come to the hotel and they're gathering across the street peacefully with rosaries. Sure. And I saw Bishop Strickland out there with lay Catholics on his knees wow. praying the rosary in front of the conference that he was not allowed to Incredible. enter. And 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 I'm seeing him also like pacing up and down with a rosary in his hand and people just following him. And you could see Terry, he looked at, he looked at peace. Yeah. He looked, uh, he looked serene. Yeah. He looked like, it just reminds me, Terry, of that Bible verse, uh, you know, of Joseph being sold off to slavery by his brothers to Egypt. It also reminds me in, in mm -hmm. John chapter one, when, when it says, and our Lord Jesus Christ came to his own mm -hmm. and his own received him not. Yeah. Wow. Uh, I, I, I could just stop. Uh, and the next day, I left early when I was leaving early in the morning to come back uh, to Phoenix, Arizona. Mm -hmm. uh, Bishop Strickland, he, he walked out there and there was hundreds of other Catholics out there. They were about to start a rosary rally when I walked, when I was leaving uh, back to the, um, back to the airport. But for him, I, I could just tell, I think that he, Terry, he reminded me of Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. Yeah. That's, as I looked at him and, you know, as I'm driving from the, the Uber car to the hotel, back to the airport. Mm -hmm. And when I looked at him out the window the day before at the press conference, it reminded me of how our Lord must have felt in the Garden of Gethsemane, completely abandoned. Uh, and, and, you know, what it's the first, what is the first sorrowful mystery? Yeah, in the Garden, sure. Yeah. And just like Joseph in the Old Testament, Terry, God raised him up and he, he did very important things for salvation history for his yeah. people. And he was able to save the Jewish people from starvation. I think God is going to open up bigger doors for Bishop Strickland. Think about this. He was the bishop of a very tiny diocese in Texas, Tyler. I think it's got about a hundred thousand Catholics. Yep. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, heck, you got more Catholics just in the San Gabriel oh, Valley. Oh yeah, yeah, in the San Gabriel Valley than he has in his entire diocese. That's right. But now that he's been fired, I mean, I, I, well, let go, fired. Yeah. Call it what you want. He's yeah. gone from 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 his governance. Yeah, not as a bishop. No, he's been fired from his governance as a bishop of Tyler, Texas. Mm -hmm. I think God is going to open doors for him, Terry, because I'll tell you, people are energized when they hear him speak because they hear love coming out of his mouth, charity. Yep. They hear kindness, but they also hear truth and they hear the voice of a shepherd. They yep. hear a voice of a person who cares for his flock. That's right. Everybody just said, you can't be around him and, and just, yep. be, just be drawn to him. Oh, yeah. you, you feel the love of a pastor when he speaks. And so I'll lie. He just turned 65. Yep. I don't think we've seen the last of him, Terry. No, and, and Jesse, you're spot on. We're going to have a special show on Monday with him. So folks will be able to look on vmpr.org. I'm going to get a lot of feedback from him from his trip to Baltimore, right from the mouth of Bishop Strickland. And just a quick note, it looks like after the Thanksgiving holiday, we're going to be having more shows than just once a week with Bishop Strickland because his duties will allow him to become more of a voice on Virgin Most Powerful Radio, which Jess and I are very honored to have that shepherd on our network. Well, what's going on in the Catholic Church, Terry, I hate to say it, but it's uh, truth got to be told. Yeah. We're, we're watching a purge going on. Mm -hmm. Why? 
Well, early on when Pope Francis be became the Pope, he got rid of who? Cardinal Raymond Burke. Yeah. Okay? Just removed him. The, the smartest canon lawyer in the world uh, was left without anywhere to govern. Just kind of go ahead and do what you want, like a bouncing ball. Go wherever you want, do what you want, you're out of here. Then Cardinal George, uh, Cardinal Mueller. Yep. Prefect for the Doctrine of Faith. Mm -hmm. He was also dismissed. Just, yep. Yeah, go work at McDonald's. Whatever you want to do, get out of here. You're done. Get out of here. Uh, again, left without anywhere to govern. Now, tell you, these are these are some major thinkers. You had Cardinal Seurat when he turned 75. <laughs> he was immediately escorted outside of his office. Yeah. Out. Get out. You're done. Okay? Don't come back. Don't let the door hit you behind your back as you walk out. Uh, one of the holiest and most intelligent liturgical experts in the world. Yep. Then um, you have uh, Bishop Daniel Fernandez Torres from Puerto Rico. He spoke out against, we'll, we'll watch how we say it. He spoke out against the Pope. Yeah. And because he, he told his diocese, don't get uh, the Pope. Guess what happened to him? Yep. He got a phone call. You're fired, dude. Yep. Get out of here. You're done. Then we have what I would call America's pro-life pastor, Father Frank Pavone. Yep. For being vocal against the party of death, for being vocal against uh, uh, the culture of death. Yep. He gets also orders from, uh, from Pope Francis, you're gone. And now we have America's bishop, Bishop Strickland, who just suffered the same fate as Father Frank Pavone, yep. Bishop Daniel Fernandez Torres, Cardinal Mueller, Burke, yep. Cardinal Burke, uh, and there's probably others that I don't know about. Yeah. And and now you have over in France, where the Pope is suspending ordinations <laughs> by France's most faithful bishop. <laughs> it's just crazy. And you're the one that was, you've told me a few times that over in France. I can tell you uh, again. Yes. Half of the people there right. go to the Latin Mass. Half, half of the people that, that go to Sunday Mass go to the traditional Latin Mass. And here we are stopping the traditional Latin Mass. And the bishops are going, we can't do that. Uh, you know, that's still the only ones that are coming. But the Pope <laughs> is, uh, is bent on stopping the traditional Latin Mass for whatever reasons. I, I just find it very uncomfortable to even talk about it because— People are scandalized by this, Jesse. Yeah, Terry, and I'll tell you what, what's more scandalous is that there's a lot of people that are trying to understand what's going on in the culture and in the Catholic Church. Yeah. And so they listen to voices like ours and others. But there are many people in the establishment Catholic world yeah. that are criticizing Bishop Strickland. Yeah. Oh, man. Are they criticizing him? They're calling him... You want to hear the one I got? They're calling him Sa Satan's propaganda about Bishop Strickland. He's got two personalities. Are you kidding me? I'm not even going to tell you who, who said that, but there's so much out there criticizing him. I Personally, Jesse, he can take it. And But you know what? It's just sad because we see a faithful shepherd being persecuted by the sheep, not just the shepherds out there, but we have lay Catholics that are going after him like he's the devil in persona. Yep, you're right, Terry. These are, yeah, yeah, I want, I want, yeah it's horrible what's happening. The devil's behind this, this complete division. God's going to bring good out of it, brother. Amen. Watch. Romans 8, 28. Exactly.